too far away? I feel really far away. <laughs> and I wrote some notes so I don't just keep rambling. <sighs> yeah. Last weekend, um, our son Charlie getting sick and it was all the symptoms of COVID. <laughs> Cough, headache, fever, just, you know, that general malaise. You know, we sent our kids to school masked, mask, masked to the max. <laughs> They're masked up. They wear masks when they go to school. This whole household is completely vaccinated. Um, and when it's time to get boosters, we will be getting them. So anyway, Charlie uh, was negative. We had him take the COVID test. Thank God he was negative, so. I've really been thinking about how I'd like a bigger studio space and not just want, I kind of need it. I feel like all the walls are closing in on me in here. And sometimes because I'm always packing orders and stuff in here, so it doesn't feel like a creative space. It just feels like workspace. So I want a space where I can do all the worky work stuff and also do creative stuff. I will show you that space. Um, it's gonna look very creepy, very Halloween-y, <laughs> but, but, um, I don't know. I, I think I've just, I've been obsessed with having like a secret bonus room since I was a kid. Okay. Like I used to knock on walls in the house I grew up in and be like, I think it's hollow. I don't know where I learned this from. No, you know what? I know where I got this from. Clue. See, Clue had flame on the side of my face. All right. So, you know, this has been Bloggy Talk, and I am your host, Deb. Enjoy the video. suffers from I have all season depression it's just it comes and goes it's uh I have dysthymia so it comes any time of year but especially when there's not much sun so um I it's obviously not traditional Christmas colors or anything I want it to be for any holiday um and I thought this would kind of cover it I'm wondering if I should have done the and the Amp, ampersand, ampersand, what is that thing called? You know, the and squiggle um, with white as well, but I think you can still see it. Let's take it out of the paper and get a good look. Okay. You know what? I think it's okay. I think it's all right. 
opinions, thoughts. Okay. And yes, these are definitely all that. Okay, and this is just my uh, restock of my. Um, if you be my bodyguard, I can be your long lost pal. So um, this is a this has been a big seller for um, a year or two now. So um, just kind of an everyday friendship card. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we got in. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm just gonna make this a shorter vlog. I've been doing like 30 minute ones and I kind of want to keep this contained to a smaller story because there's a lot more stuff that has happened in the last week or so and I have been designing like crazy. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Um, so I noticed I had a couple of newer subscribers, so shout out to you. Thank you very much for being a part of this very small but growing family. Um, I like the intimate gathering we have going on here. Um, and if you're new here, I'm thrilled to have you, for real. And if you have been here since the start, thank you. I appreciate you. I see you. I especially see you if you leave comments. That's huge to me. If you like and comment, that's such a big help to this little channel because it actually helps YouTube sort of see who else this kind of content would appeal to, which is what I'm interested in doing is like attracting other like-minded folks, having a nice warm family. I'm I don't know what I'm saying, but it's like, it's nice to have a community of like-minded people. And I really appreciate you for sticking with me. And I'm really excited to share the new happenings that are coming. I am working on the next vlog as we speak. So I'm excited about it. I have stuff to share. So thank you again for being here. And I'm sending you some big squeezy hugs. Can you feel it? I'm trying not to spill my coffee on you. Okay.